Welcome to the Sport on Pulse. I'm Gary Al Smith, and today, what has been trending has been Ghana's athletics performance at the ongoing Commonwealth Games. It's been an interesting competition so far because several Ghanaians have uh, gone ahead to take part in their disciplines, but have come across with no medal. The lady in your shorts was the brightest hope for Ghana, and she went through into the final of the women's hundred meters somewhere around 11.50 a.m. this morning. And then she started quite well per her standards. She looked like she was gaining momentum, but her energy levels decreased. Michelle Lee Aye from Trinidad and Tobago powering to a title. Trinidad and Tobago had never gone into the final of a Commonwealth Games women's event before. Today they had three athletes in the final and Michelle Lee won. Ghana though saw the representative of the country, 19 year old from the Sisala East District of the Upper West Region, finishing eighth out of eight competitors. So, after coming so close yet so far, it's clear that she has bags of potential and at 19, she has the whole world ahead of her. How does she go on from here? In studio with me is Hans Mensa Ando, who followed the race. 11.54 seconds was the time the Ghanaian ran. So, let's quickly speak about her. First of all, what were the hopes of athletics watchers before she went into the race? Well, I mean, basically, um, we're looking at two things. One, that she could have brought home a medal. And if that was not possible, at the very least, she could have improved her personal best. But um, all of that were not to be. Um, whichever way you look at it, though, there is a positive, at least some positives you can draw from it. Um, 19 years, uh, she's able to make her way to the Commonwealth Games all the way to the finals. So mm. You look at her age and the fact that she's got time to you know, work on a lot of things. And when I talk about a lot of things, one of them obviously has to be her technique. For me, is the one thing that um, I found wrong with her um, race this afternoon. So if she can work on that, if she can work on the technique, she can get the right coach. Um, I mean, two, one of two things could have happened. It's yeah. possible the coach did everything right. They at least simply failed to carry out instructions. It's possible she doesn't have a coach who has the experience at that level and so yeah. maybe she needs to come in and find a coach who can you know take her forward in terms of a career but i mean you have got to look at it in a positive light now hall is um she recently just completed ti amadea secondary school in kumase before then she was scouted by the same school in ho at an inter-regional championships now, she was racing for the Upper West Region where she had attended the Mwandono Junior High School. And um, she was spotted there. She was first in her locality. She was first in her district, first in the region, and represented the region, which is where she was scouted um, at the Inter-Regional Championships in Ho. What does this say about our system? It says that it works. Spotting talent is not our problem. No. Not at all. I mean, um, it's the least of our worries. The talent is there. Um, I went through secondary school. I was fortunate to be sports pre prefect in my school. I was part of the regional team, Central Region. Um, I saw loads and loads of fantastic athletes. I mean, I can name some of them. Some actually competed for Ghana at the youth level and then yeah. fizzled out. And so talent has never, ever been the problem. The problem has been the lack of structures, the lack of proper planning, lack of you know, a proper plan in terms of how we are going to transition the athletes from the secondary school level to the professional ranks, if you like. And so if we're able to get that right, and over the years I struggle to understand why we are not able to get it right. See, in my mind, when you do something repeatedly and it doesn't work, you stop doing it and try another. You can't keep doing the same thing and then expect different results. We've been doing the same thing over and over again. We go to um, international competitions, make headlines for the wrong reasons, we come back, we know that we have, we have got the talent in the country, we know what our problems are, but somehow we simply lack the will 
to solve those problems. And we know what the solutions are. We just have to implement them. Fantastic. Implementation. And uh, there's hope yet for this team. Don't forget that the Ghana team will be racing on Friday. All the 400-meter runners will be in the 4x100 relay in the ongoing Commonwealth Games. We are in day five so far. And also in the men's events, we saw Akani Simbine of South Africa shock Johan Blake, the favorite from Jamaica, to the title. It was a South African one to great for that country as well. So that's it for the athletics. Uh, in the Ghana Premier League, there's a lot happening. It was, it was an interesting weekend with both Hart and Kotoko tasting defeat. Hart of Oak were beaten by three goals to nil. Kotoko were beaten by two goals to nil by Ashcold. Very interesting weekend, Hans. Really interesting. I mean, for Asante Kotoko, I'm not, I'm not too surprised. Um, um, this is the pattern that your season is going to follow. I mean, there is nothing interesting about Kumasi Asante Kotoko, except apart from maybe their goalkeeper, Felix Anand. Nothing seems to work. Um, Park Wesley Fabian came in, made some huge promises. Um, I was skeptical about his ability to live up to those promises because it is not up to him. I think the entire structure with Asante Kotoko is wrong. And so uh, if they get it wrong at where they have to make the key decisions on the field, they are going to get it wrong. So I'm not really surprised about the sort of results that they are recording. Hard to folk, there are sparks of, you know, the good things that could happen if um, they do one or two things right. Um, and, and that's the table. You see Kotoko in Sith had seventh. Hans, go on, please. Yes. If they do one or two things right, um, and I think that it's high time how to folk keep faith with a coach. Henry Wellington is not getting certain results right, but there are certain results he gets them right. And so um, the most important thing is to keep a core of a team together, get a coach to work with them for a longer period, and then for me, I think the heart of folk is going to work out. Now, if you look at the table, Ashgold are peeling away. If we can go back to Ashgold, yeah. 13 points because of their results elsewhere. It gave them an opportunity. You see the inter-allies were able to come up. Dreams FC also an eight, but quietly, slowly, they are peeling away. Yep, and um, if they're chasing Park, do not, you know, do not catch up with them. It will get to a point where um, it will be very, very impossible for any of the teams below them to catch up with us. Siki Akono is doing a fantastic job and it's important that he keeps the momentum going. But I mean, great start for Ashanti Gold. Akono has now beaten Heart of Oak and Kotoko in one month. Great stuff. We'll be doing more analysis on the football show 10.30. It is. Please join us then. Thank you, Hans Mensah and you. for your time. Also, we'll be here at 8.30 for the rest of What's Trending Internationally. I'm Gary L. Smith.